Welcome back to TechnoSagin YouTube channel. So, Intel's Raptor Lake CPU listing has been shown off and it is been linked by Momo underscore US on a US Canada website where it's in Canadian dollars as of now. And the Raptor, Raptor Lake Refresh CPU's 14 engine basically has a 4% price hike. As you can see on the screen here, when compared to the previous generation I's Intel 13 gen. The pricing is about 4% higher in all of the series. i9 4900K is 833 and i9 3900K was 808. i9 4900KF is 795, while 775 for i9 3900KF, i7 4700 k is 597, i7 3700K is 583 and so on. It's around 4% increase overall and it looks bad. Because this is just a refresh and Intel came out and said that they won't be increasing the pricing but here it is the pricing has been increased and it's come from directly from Omo underscore US and since it's a little bit of price increase this will be a price increase and it's not a placeholder pricing. So yeah this just confirms it that the pricing for Intel's 14 gen is increasing and yeah what do you think about this because it feels weird because yeah. 14 gen is not that powerful as per com as compared to 13 gen the positive side is 13 gen pricing will go down when 14 gen releases but yeah next up we have some news regarding amd and first of all let's talk about nvidia and nvidia's aib has responded to rx 7800 xc launch and it has dropped 50 dollars off overall for rtx 30s rtx 4070 graphics card and it's down to 549 dollars everywhere and yeah it's pretty nice that's why you need a competition because rx7800 xt trade blows and in some scenarios it's almost faster compared to 4070 so overall it looks pretty nice and the pricing is right now 549 for rtx4070 which is pretty nice and maybe the pricing might go down later down the line but i will keep you updated regarding and that is why you need a competition next up we have news regarding AMD Threadripper and it comes from size of database benchmarking tool and here you can see Ryzen Threadripper Pro W9 7995WX and it is swapping 96 cores. Yeah, you heard it right. Threadripper is going up in core count. Ryzen 7000 was need, didn't went in up in core count, but this time AMD is doing it and Ryzen 7000 is going to be up in core count from 64 threads 64 cores to 96 cores and it has a speed frequency of 5.1 gigahertz though it will be a single core it at 5.1 gigahertz this cpus can go as high as 5 gigahertz on all cores basically and nvidia's dlss will finally officially be coming to starfield but it is Bethesda has confirmed it like there will be a hot fix coming to starfield and later there will be a major patch which will be heading and it will support DLSS, DLSS2 and DLSS3 directly by Bethesda and Nvidia. So you don't need to install any mods per se because right now you need, if you want DLSS you need to install a mod. And this feature will come with brightness and contrast control, HDR calibration menu, FOV slider, Nvidia DLSS support for PC, 32 is to 9 ultra wide monitor support and 8 button for food. But yeah. It's nice to see that DLSS is officially supported due to backlash. Firstly, because when FSR is supported on a game, generally you don't get DLSS because FSR works on both GPUs. And AMD is there's a rumor going on that we know like there won't be a high end for RX 8000 series. There will be only mid range, which is Navi 43 and Navi 42, which are around. 8600 till like 8800 XT and there won't be 8900 series but according to this rumor which is going on as of now on X it says that it is due to FPGA or GP GPUs and basically it what it means like the AMD will be focusing and since they have limited supply on TSMC they will be focusing more on AI cards and less on gaming GPUs we just need to clarify this as of now because this might turn out to be true because Nvidia is doing the same thing but if I doubt that that's the reason why AMD is not going to release 8900 XT but let's see how things turns out to be 
because there was a previous remover which says 8900 XT is more complex than 7900 XT but yeah this confirms a little different thing but I will keep you updated regarding this story but that's it for me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next one peace out